Um, I mean, do you remember a lot of that night, or was it a blur? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is he allowed no, to I'm answer that? I'm talking during the game, Pat, you're not after. <laughs> well, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Pleasure. Lovely to see you. Now, first of all, we've got an amazing lot for you here that I believe you two gentlemen have signed as well. This, of course, Bobby Charlton there, lifting that famous European Cup in 1968. A bit of controversy, I love it. Oh, no, no. Oh. George didn't only have a right foot, he had a left foot. Ah, his right. head now there's a man after my own heart now. George was an experienced Puskas who you wouldn't know about, you're too young. I've, 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 read, I've heard about it, I've seen the black foot. Hey, you can come One of the greatest players. players. Well, it is finally official. Cesc Fabregas is now a Barcelona player. There's been much speculation this year, in fact there was last year as well, whether he would go to the team that he supported as a boy. The team he left as a school though, um, whether Modric plays in this game. There's been a lot of speculation over the summer that Chelsea are after him. There's been confrontation between himself and Daniel Levy, the chairman of Tottenham, and it'll be interesting to see whether Tottenham do risk playing Modric to see whether they will be actually selling him, of course, because he could be cup time, of course, in the Champions League, which is where Chelsea will be playing their European football this year. So a lot of intricacies going on with this move. Will Modric go? Will he stay? I think Harry Redknapp would love him to stay, but I think he's resigned to the fact that if Chelsea do come in with a much bigger offer, then he will go. Well, so Cesc Fabregas now, a Barcelona player, he will be revealed at the new Camp sometime later on this afternoon. So, of course, a real shock, I guess, for Arsenal fans. There was talk of would it happen, wouldn't it happen. It has gone through that transfer now. And the key thing now is going to be, will Arsene Wenger use those funds to strengthen that Arsenal team? Everything else, because you've won league titles between you. You've won FA Cups between yeah. you. Was that the most amazing game you've ever played? This weekend of football has been amazing. It's been fantastic. I mean, you've you had, you had the Arsenal game in Europe. Who thought for one minute Liverpool would play against West Ham in the Cup? As a, as a midfield player, you've seen a lot of Roy Keane. How do you rate him uh, in terms of legends in the midfield? The word legends is a word that should... I'm a coach myself, and it really yeah. annoys me when I see players at this level who are only one footed. Do you think there's room for them to improve all the time? Tottenham yet to complete the signing or the loan deal of Adebayo for Manchester City. Uh, Adebayo wanted of course to play for Real Madrid where he's been out on loan for most of the season but now Manchester City have made it plain to him or should I say Roberto Mancini has made it plain to him that he doesn't figure in his plans and there is a possible loan deal on the cards with Tottenham paying half of his wages and Manchester City paying the other half. Confidence he's got is amazing. And he's got amazing. a strong manager. That's he's that. on here. And I want to talk about a very special player who I think on here. Yeah. Ryan Giggs. Do you, do you think he's a long-term replacement, do you, for well, I think he's looked after himself. He's, he's what, 35, 34? Well, 34. I think, I think, I think he's your play. Goalkeeper can go on like I did. Yeah, I went up to 38. I mean, to think what they did in the game. And, of course, Dennis Law went on to play for the arch enemy, didn't he, as well? Manchester, Manchester City. City. He went yeah. to Italy and played for Turin as well. But he, he Which, again, was quite unheard of. Yes, time, people got, yes. A lot of Arsenal fans are a little bit disgruntled that they're losing a lot of their key players. Of course, there's speculation that Nasri may be going to Manchester City. A, a sense, if you like, of frustration with the Arsenal fans that that money is not coming back and being spent on the team.